everyone? It's Tony from Shy Town Constrictors. Through my last couple of videos, I've really focused a lot on ultrasounding boas and how it works and how I use it in my breeding season. I've had a lot of people reach out to me about something that works very much like an ultrasound but a little bit different, being Doppler radars. I've never experienced one, I've never owned one, uh, so I honestly don't know a whole lot about it, but I did some research and compared to an ultrasound, it's a much cheaper alternative. An ultrasound like the one I've got is going to cost you probably between two and four thousand dollars. I went online, I went on Amazon, and I managed to pick up a Doppler radar Sonaline for $49.99 with shipping. So much cheaper of an option. Um, like I said, I really don't know much about it. I've never used one before. Uh, it's still in the packaging here. I haven't even really opened it. So we're going to kind of learn about this together. We're going to do some of my gravid boas and try and find out exactly what it does. And then I'm going to make the comparison of what the Doppler shows you versus what I actually see on the ultrasound and see how similar or how different the results may be. So this is the box that it actually got shipped in. And at first glance, it seems to be a pretty simple setup. Only a couple of pieces, they ship it with batteries, cord, that's going to be our probe right there, and a tube full of gel, which I'm assuming is very much like the ultrasound gel that we use. I'm going to experiment and see if I can use ultrasound gel on both of them. I would assume it's probably going to work. So a couple of pieces, looks very easy, some directions in the bottom. I'm going to get it put together and then we'll give it a shot. So I just got the Doppler all put together, very, very easy. It's one cord that plugs into the bottom, and on the back, the batteries that I showed you pop right in. It takes less than 10 seconds. I haven't even turned it on yet. I have no idea what to expect. One thing that I do want to cover, the biggest difference between this and the ultrasound, as you guys have seen in my other videos, the ultrasound I can use during breeding. I can use it to track the follicle development of my females to see if they're cycling or not. With this, I'm not going to be able to do that. The only thing that this is going to be any good for is determining whether or not your female is gravid. Uh, some people want to know, is their female going to have good babies or is she going to have slugs? Not all of them read the manual. They don't all sit the same. They don't all thicken up the way that we would like them to. So sometimes the boas can be a little bit unpredictable. But this is probably going to put your mind at ease a little bit. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear some heartbeats and you'll know that you have some good babies in there and not a litter full of slugs. So there is a very key difference between this and the ultrasound. Um, which is also going to be a lot of the price difference as well. So since this is my first attempt trying to use this, I'm going to use this on a female that is due to drop her babies in three days. Usually I would not bother a female this close to having uh, her babies, but she hasn't even started nesting yet. I'm not really all that concerned. She's not going to probably move all that much, so I'm very confident that I can do this without disturbing her a whole lot, okay? So here I've got the Doppler. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Turn the volume on the side here all the way up. I'm just going to use the gel that they provided for right now. We'll, we'll play with the ultrasound gel later. I'm going to put it on her body and we'll see what we can, what we can hear. I don't hear anything. So I've been playing with it for about 10 minutes already, and I'm going to be very honest with you, it's not the easiest thing in the world to learn. I really was hoping that it was going to be a plug and play and I'd be able to hear heartbeats, but I can't hear anything except static. And that's not to say that there's anything wrong with it, it's just a matter of I don't know how to do it, just like anything else, uh, practice is going to make perfect. The same thing happened with the ultrasound, you don't get it right away, you got to keep practicing, you have to learn what you're looking for, train your eyes what you're actually looking at on the screen. With the Doppler radar it's going to be a matter of training my ears. Um, so I haven't really been able to see anything on the Doppler radar, or hear anything rather, on the Doppler radar. So what I'm going to do real fast is just do an ultrasound of this female, um, just to make sure that everything still looks good, that the babies are still alive, that I can still see heartbeats on it, um, and make sure that maybe I'm not getting my hopes up for nothing here. And that I can still see heartbeats. So these babies are going to be very big. You can kind of see one coming in right there. If I can get a better shot of it. And we should be able to see a heartbeat as long as these babies are still alive inside of her. Yep, so we can see the baby right there. 
And somewhere in there I should, I can see so, a lot of movement. So I know these babies are still alive, but I'm looking for the heartbeat itself. So I can see something pulsing a little bit right there. It's really hard to identify an actual heartbeat right now just because these babies are so big inside of there. They're only a couple of days away from being born. But uh, you can see the skeletons. You can see everything moving in there. So I do know that she's got good babies in there. We just can't identify an actual heartbeat right now. So I'm not going to lie. After only a few minutes of playing with this thing, I'm pretty frustrated. All I hear is static, and I have yet to hear anything that even closely resembles a heartbeat. Usually I try to tell people that I'm not as dumb as I look, but this thing's proven me wrong pretty easily here. So the last female that I just showed you guys, I was experimenting with the Doppler. It was all trial and error, mostly error, completely error actually, because I have yet to find any heartbeats in her. And as much as I was messing with her trying to get it right, she started to get a little bit antsy. Being that she's due in only three more days, I didn't want to mess with her anymore, so we're going to try it on this female. This female uh, ovulated on January 2nd, so she's a little bit more than halfway. I can see on the ultrasound that there's skeletons developing. I can see uh, heartbeats pretty well. So hopefully if we try again with this female, I'll be able to see it. So I'm going to show you guys the ultrasound first so that you see exactly how developed the babies and the heartbeats are. So you can see that little heartbeat right there, pulsing. That's the heartbeat pulsing right there, that little flicker. And you can see the skeleton of the whole baby right there. And there it is. That's the sound of the heartbeat. So that's it. Fortunately, I was able to find a heartbeat on that last female to give you guys a little comparison of what this looks like compared to the ultrasound. It's not the easiest tool in the world to use, and the people that I've talked to who use these often say that it's hit or miss. Sometimes you'll find a baby with the heartbeat, sometimes you won't because you have to get it right on the spot where the heart is, and the way that the babies are coiled up inside, you may not get it exactly where it needs to be. So sometimes you may use this and you may miss it completely, and you got to try again tomorrow or the next day, something like that. So my comparison, I think the ultrasound's a lot easier. It's a lot more effective, especially considering that you can measure the follicles. When this, you're only looking for strictly a heartbeat. I personally prefer the ultrasound over this thing, but for $40 or $50 with shipping, you really can't go wrong if you really just want to put your mind at ease as far as knowing whether you have babies or slugs. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to explain it. I'm going to do a little bit more playing with this, get a little more familiar with it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.